Hi students, welcome to another video lesson and this is the third part of our topic in importance of fluids in an athletic diet and nutritional health. Uh, as you all know, uh, we have two video lessons that we have discussed before, but this will be the last part. Now, let's talk about the body composition of an athlete and measuring body composition. Now, body composition is the proportion of fat and non-fat mass in your body. So a healthy body composition is one that includes a lower percentage of body fat and a higher percentage of non-fat mass which includes muscle, bones, and organs. Now, knowing your body composition can help you assess your health and fitness level. Often, you will measure your body composition at the start of weight loss or fitness program and then check it periodically to monitor your progress. So, here in our lesson, we are going to talk about kung um, paano ba natin or paano ba natin nalalaman yung ating tinatawag na body composition or even your weight. Okay, so ano ba yung mga dapat natin consider or kapag ba tayo ay nag-check ng weight natin? Is it the exact weight na meron yung katawan natin? Now, we're going to talk about the body composition, which is your body is composed of two types of mass. So we have the body part and the non-fat mass. Now, let's differentiate the two. Body part, okay, this can be found in muscle tissue. So under the skin or what we call the subcutaneous fat or around organs or in the tawag natin visceral fat. Some fat is necessary for overall health. And essential fat helps protect internal organs uh, which stores fuel for energy and of course it regulates um, important body hormones okay as what uh, as what you have or as what we have discussed before diba um hindi lahat ng fats ay nakakasama sa katawan natin or hindi maganda sa katawan natin there are some fats in our body na kun saan nakakatulong okay para siya sa uh, pag-convert okay ng mga fats into fuel now you may also have excess storage fat and non-essential body fat. How about the non-fat mass? What does it mean? This include bone, water, muscle, organs, and tissues. And it may also be called lean, ma lean mass or lean mass tissue. Non-fat mass tissue are metabolically, are metabolically active, meaning they burn calories per energy, while body fat does not. So, now... Body fat percentage is a measurement of body composition telling how much of your weight of your body is fat. So the percentage of your body that is not fat is fat-free mass. So there are normal ranges for body fat which differ for men and women. Now, weighing yourself on a regular bathroom scale does not assess your body composition. So a regular scale cannot tell how much of your total weight is comprised of water, fat, or mass. Okay, have you ever have you ever experienced that? Siguro simula bata pa lang tayo and up until now is nasani na tayo dun sa ordinary yung weighing scale, di ba? And then usually kapag tumapak dun, malalaman mo na agad yung inyong bigat. But uh, honestly speaking, ay hindi talaga, tal hindi talaga yun yung pinaka-exact amount or pinaka-exact weight natin. Kasi syempre doon, titignan din natin yung amount of water or amount of uh, even your skin, the amount of fats na meron tayo sa buong katawan. So, um, in our further discussion, aalamin natin kung ano-ano ba yung mga klase ng weighing scale na pwedeng natin gamitin. Now, to know whether your body composition is healthy, you should get an estimate of your body fat percentage. You can do so by taking simple measurement and entering them into a body fat percentage calculator. Now, athletes tend to have lower body fat which may be beneficial for performance in sports such as running and cycling, but having an extremely low body fat percent is a health problem. Like for example, the female athlete triad increases the risk of injury and health issues. Now, um, dito kasi pumapasok yung tinatawag natin body composition or yung the body mass index, di ba? Uh, yung, yung bigat ng katawan natin, dun sa edad natin, um, and of course, uh, tiba tinitignan natin yung height natin sa weight natin. So, madami mga disadvantages. So, yun yung mga dapat natin i-consider kapag tayo ay papasok sa isang um, sporting events or let's say tayo ay mag-undergo with a, a physical diet or let's say a healthy diet. Uh, kailangan talaga makita natin if it is uh, 
appropriate, if it is good for our body, then if it is not, then hindi mo kailangan siya i-pursue or hindi siya maganda. So you have to, ano talaga, you have to ask for sports nutrition, ba diba? talagang kailangan mo manghingi ng consult, okay? Or, or our, pwede natin sabihin na parang ano, advice, okay? Para at least malaman mo or mabigyan ka ng proper knowledge or mapag, 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 mabigyan ka ng uh, proper diet plan para sa katawan natin, which is uh, benefit tayo mismo. At di ba, syempre kapag nagda-diet tayo, is malaki talaga yung, mga, malaki talaga yung nagiging changes din sa katawan natin. That's why you have to be careful. Now, it includes eating disorder, um, amenorrhea, and decreased decrease bone mass with an increased risk of stress fractures and osteoporosis. If you're overweight or obese, you have an excessive amount of body fat and a high body fat percentage, which is ang dami natin na naramdaman kapag tayo ay overweight or obese talaga. Now, how to measure body composition? So there are several ways to get an estimate of your body fat percentage at home and at the gym or even from your doctor. The first is the bioelectrical impedance. These tools pass a small electric current through your body and path water and lean tissue impede the current differently to give the reading. Okay, this is how it look like uh, how it looks like. Okay. We also have the skin fold measurement, okay? Uh, which is taking skin fold measurement is a method often used by fitness trainers or as part of a weight loss program. So we have these calipers. Uh, that take measurement at different parts of your body and then a calculation helps translate them into a body fat percentage. So um, this is another type and uh, this is not common for all of us. Now we also have the hydrostatic weighing uh, which is very unfamiliar with us. So the hydrostatic from the word itself, hydro, okay, you will use water. Uh, it is a method that requires you to be fully submerged in water. So this gold standard for body fat measurement involves being dunked in a water tank. And it's harder to find a clinic or gym that offers this service. I think uh, this is more, uh, you know, applicable or let's say parang kilala uh, sa ibang bansa. Okay, kasi dito sa Pilipinas parang very unfamiliar talaga siya at hindi talaga common para sa mga athlete, di ba? Now, we have factors affecting body composition. So, your body composition can also be influenced by factors you can control. Now, the first one is age. Uh, as we age, uh, we become more uh, sick. I mean, sick or let's say, napaka mahina na yung mga yung pangangatawan natin. And people lose muscle mass as they age. And if they don't maintain it with sufficient weight training, this result in a slower metabolism. We also have the genes because this play a role in whether you are naturally lean or have a tendency to retain fat, including where you store it. We also have in hormones, and this can influence water retention and body composition. And lastly, we have sex. So women have more body fat than men as nature way of preparing for pregnancy and nursing, di ba? As we all know, uh, ang mga babae kasi is, syempre, mas madami silang body parts talaga sa katawan kasi nga, sila yung nagbe-bear ng child. Sila talaga yung nagkikary ng child. And, uh, syempre, dun so parang tinatawag natin bahay bata uh, sa womb is talagang syempre, punong-puno ng parts wherein talagang for for at least nine months, mag stay dun yung baby, di ba? So, talagang syempre, lulobot-lulobot talaga sila. Now, your body composition and body fat are important measurements when you are on a weight loss program. You could be successful in losing fat and gaining muscle without seeing your weight go down. And tracking your weight loss and fitness efforts with body composition measurement is a good way to see your progress. And it is easier than ever with a wide availability of fat or body fat skills. So I hope you've learned a lot from this topic. Um, this is uh, all about the body composition, diba? Um, as what as as what we have discussed in our in our two topics here in um 
hope for, uh, we should be able or dapat maging ano tayo, maging uh, familiar tayo okay, with, with our body. Kailangan alam natin yung um, body composition natin. Alam natin kung ano yung nangyayari sa katawan natin para at least diba ay uh, aware tayo, okay, kung ano ba yung mga changes. And uh, wag na wag tayong magdedesisyon or wag na wag tayong um, gagawa ng isang bagay na alam nyong hindi proper or hindi uh, po pwede para sa katawan natin. Kasi baka mamaya is yung ginagawa pala natin ay hindi pwede. Okay, para sa status ng katawan natin. So, make it sure talaga na mag ka talaga ng advice or magko-consult ka from your doctor or let's say a sports nutrition uh, para at least mabigyan ka ng proper diet plan. Okay, and of course, yung mga kinakain din natin, be careful. Kasi syempre napakadaming mga uh, effect, epekto nun sa katawan natin. Maraming mga disadvantages. That's why um, talagang ang pinaka-importante is yung health. Diba? Um, hindi mo ma-achieve yung mga goals mo in life and you will not be able to uh, perform well. Okay? And of course, to, uh, ano mo yun, yung parang, kubaga hindi ka mag excel sa mga bagay na ginagawa mo. Um, hindi mo mamimit yung mga uh, gusto mo mangyari sa katawan mo. Uh, if, kumbaga, puro unhealthy foods pa din naman yung mga kinakain natin. And, uh, syempre, kung ano man yung ginagawa natin sa sarili natin, at the end of the day, parang kumbaga sisingilin ka pa din. Kasi pagdating pagtanda mo, uh, uh, kumbaga mahihirapan ka na agad kumilos or let's say, mas maikli yung buhay, ba? Diba? Kasi syempre, naabuso natin yung katawan natin. And uh, this is something that uh, we should be more careful. Okay, para at least, ba diba, uh, mas mahaba pa yung buhay natin. That's why, ngayon pa lang ay kailangan uh, simulan na natin na panatiliin natin healthy yung pangangatawan natin. And that's the end of our lesson uh, for this meeting and thanks for your time. Thanks or thank you for listening. Bye!